Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the right hand side of your screen, you see the views of a given figure, which is um, that of the cylinder and the right cone, right? But in this case, the cylinder, the horizontal cylinder, is what? It's penetrating through the right cone, just like you can see on the screen, right? And the views are the front elevation and the plan. The plan is the one on top and the elevation is the one under. So I'm going to start this drawing by reproducing what I have on the screen before I will start doing looking for the interpenetrating curve or the curve of intersection between here this point and this point this point and this point the curve of intersection so let's start let's reproduce what we have here start from the plan First thing you do, like I said in my earlier video, is that you are going to draw an horizontal line this way. Let's see a center line, but let me start with this this way. You can see that. Let me make it more visible. That is what we have there. Right? Now choose a spot. Let's see this spot. So I will now move my T square to any point of the line as long as it is well placed. And I'm going to draw another line. Let me make it to be a, a hidden line. Right? Let me make it to be a center line. Let it be more visible. So we're having long, short, long, short, just like that. Can see that and let me move this one too to be the center line from here can see that so they are meeting here so this point here should be the center of this um, circle you see in here to be the center because you look at what we are giving here we are told that from the center to the end of the the radius of the circle is given to be 100 and what 16 right and 116 divided by 2 will be 58 right so i'm going to take my compass and i'm going to measure 58 so if i place my compass this way from this point here i see that from this point here to here this is 50 this is 58 here you can see that and i'll come to the center here right and i'm going to draw a circle first of all draw a circle with my faint line first of all this way right there is a faint line first of all this is what we have here. Now, the next thing we do after drawing that circle is that we are told that told that the height, as in the thickness of this cylinder, this is the what you're seeing here is the base of the cone. That is the circle there. Now, the cylinder that is penetrating it, the thickness of the cylinder, it has a diameter of what sixty eight. Right, I'm going to use 34 half of it, and when I measure 34 on my meter rule this way, this is zero and this is 30. Okay, this is 34 here, right? And I'm going to place it at the center here. I'm going to mark up and I'm going to mark down, right? Then I'm going to draw a line. First of all, it should be more of a faint line. I'm going to mark it this way. 
we like to go through it faint line first of all this way and here also faint line first of all this way you can see that now the next thing that we have to do here is that we are told that from this point to this point is 75 and it is this point to somewhere around here right so i'm going to measure 75 on my meter rule so let's do that if i measure 75 this is zero right and this is 70 75 yeah and i'm going to place it at this point center and i'll mark this is 75 and also this is what 75 so i'll start taking them out so that i'll get what i am looking for so from this point to 75 i'll draw a line i'll taking it to this point from this point also which is 75 I'll draw another line in which I'll take it to this point, right? And also, I'll draw a line from this point to touch the circumference of the circle. You can see that? I'll come here also. I'll join from here to touch the circumference of the circle. You can see that then I'll not take in my circle from this point I'll take it to that point and I'll not draw now stop here I'll come here also so I'll do the same thing here too you can see that now the next thing is to draw the elevation because this is the plan we want to draw the elevation so the elevation deals with the height and the height given from here to here is given to be 100 i'm going to measure 100 from any distance from here and as long as it's not touching the other one here i'll place it this is from here to this point here is 100 right because I want to take it down a little bit if I want to. So from this point to this point here is giving us 100. That is the height of the cone. Start again. And I will draw my horizontal line at that point. There. I will draw my horizontal line at that point there. Faint line first of all. You can see that then i'm going to project the circumference of the base of the cone looking for the plan i'll project it down so that i'll get the base of the cone there on the elevation so if i project this down to touch here with faint line and i'll project this down also to touch here with faint line right so i can easily take in this now if I take in this from here to here, it will be taken to this point here. You can see that now. The next thing is this the height, so I'll take my meter rule and I'll connect it towards the height from here. I'll use my faint line first of all to this point and my faint line here also to this point. You can see that. Now the next thing I'm going to do, let me complete this my center line first to touch the base. So we have a short one and long one here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is if you look at the plan from if you look at the elevation from the base here to the center here is given as what 42. So I'm going to measure 42 from this base here. I'll measure 42 from here. This is zero. This is 41, 42 is here. You can see that? I'll now draw another center line there too. Center line of the cylinder. That is the center of what? Of the cylinder. So I have this. 
the long one shot it like that hope you can see that now if you look at it we're told that um, from the from what we have here we're told the diameter of the cylinder is 68 making the radius to be what 34 so i can easily measure 34 on my meter rule this way to measure 34 on my meter rule this way from here to here this is 34 or i'll just come here and take the radius of this you can see so when i do that i will come to this point i'm going to from this center here i'll mark up and i'll mark down right then i'm going to project the ends of um this cylinder here so i'll just project it downward let it downward this way Paint line come here also let it downward this way Paint line now remember i measured 34 34 here so that point with the help of my my t square i am going to move this from here i'm going to thicken it from here to touch here and also from the bay this the body of the cone to touch that line it should confirm because they are the same figure i'll move again to the other one here I'm going to draw from here to touch here. Now draw from here also to touch here. You can see that. Now the next thing is for me to now close it up, as shown in the diagram. So from here, I'm going to close here up, and from here, I'm going to close here up. You can see that now I can now tick in my triangle or the cone. So ticking from here to here. I showed in the diagram I'm ticking from here to here. Right? I'll come here also. I am going to tick in from here to here. And I'll tick in from here to here. You can see that. So I have successfully reproduced the figure that is drawn in the right hand side of the screen so the next thing we're going to do now is to draw the end elevation is that the key? so i can easily draw a vertical line here or better still i'll just draw an horizontal line at this point in between the both of them this way you can see that right I'll draw another line at this point here so that to avoid the figure from touching each other. So I'll draw another line here at any distance of your choice. Right now, at this point, I'll now draw an angle of 5 degree. So let's see that. Place it this way, and I'll draw 45 degree this way. Knowing fully where that I will not project all these points on my cylinder from the plan to touch the elevation here to touch the 45 degree inclination line here. So if I move it this way, this is let me start from the base of the cone, I'll project it to touch here. You can see that and i also move to the base of the cone here also i'll project it to touch here right let me extend that it's not long enough so if i extend that i'll be having this i will extend that this way you can see that so i'm going to Extend this to the base here of the cone, just like I want to draw in orthographic projection. 
So we extend this this way. You can see that. Then I'll bring this downward. I'll bring this downward this way. Faint line. And I'll bring this also downward this way. Those two lines are projected downward. So those points will represent the base of my cone. So I can thicken it. So if I thicken it, I'll be having this this way. From here to here, it's thickened. You can see that. And um, if you look at this, I'm going to so I'm going to project this apex point here. I also project it to come in this manner, right? And if you notice, it is at the center of the cone here. And this is the center also. So if I project this to touch here, which I already have a line is touching here, and I'll bring that down. So that will be the center of the figure. Right? So I can easily draw my center line if I want to. This way. Right? Now, where this line meets this, I will not draw out my cone by using faint line you can see that now the next thing we'll do is we'll project the edges of the cylinder to touch that 45 degree inclined line this will come and it's already there i have the but let me just draw this to touch here the other one too is going to touch here too you can see that and I'm going to project it downward I'll project them downward so this will come here paint line first of all and this will come also another faint line again right and I'll project the edge here too this way and here too this way and this is the center here that again this is the what the center here and from that center so i will now take my compass place it at the center and take it to the apex point here you can see where to help me to draw my circle so I draw my circle this way. I'm going to take in the circle in this manner. See that? So I will now start to take in my triangle in this way to this to this point. Will be thickened and this at this point will be taken too. This also will be taken this way, and this will be taken this way. You can see that we have um, successfully turn out the end elevation this is the plan the front elevation the end elevation now the next thing we're not going to do just like in our previous video i told you to click at the beginning of the video we're not going to divide this from this point to this point into as many equal parts as you want to divide it but in this video i'm going to divide it into what into three right so what i'm going to do is i will divide from here to here into three equal parts so if i do that let's do that and see i'll just draw a line this way from this point i'll just draw a line this way and i'm going to mark three that will be one two and three and with the concept of line division i'll place this 
end point here to this point that I want to div divide this way. All right, and when I do that, when I do that, I can now place my um other set square at this point here. Then I'll start moving it. When I move it, this will be this. My movie, this will be this. Right? So I've divided it into three. If you can't remember how to divide your line, you can click on this link and it will give you a better understanding. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to project this line to the other end of the shape like this. I'll project it to come here. Right? Then this also. We'll come here like this also is already there right so i can easily call it to be this is what i'm dividing into and we have all this is that the key you project all those points upward right so i'm going to project it point three i'll project it up right then i'll move it this way to the horizontal line here with the radius of that point i will draw my first circle this way this is my first circle here i'll do the same thing too i'm going to project point two to this point and i'm going to project that point to the vertical line of the plan that will give me my second circle this point right so this is what we have point line and i'll now project point one also to that inclined axis then move that point horizontally to the vertical line of to the center line of the plan to get the third circle all right this is what i have here now in doing that where the circle intersect with the horizontal line i'm going to project them down right and also project all this horizontally so if I project this first of all horizontally, this way I will have this. I will also have this. And I will have this. Right? So we're projecting them horizontally. Now the, the next thing we'll do we'll project wherever the circle intersects with the horizontal line. We're going to project it down. Is that okay? So, so let's project it down. So this is the first intersection here, right? From one first intersection, I'm going to take it down. Right? Then since it's one here, if I move to the other side also, if I extend it to the next point here, that means I have another one here. So this one point and another point here. I'm going to project it down this way. Is that the key? Now the next the next point is here also. It is for two. I'll put it down also. This way. And I'm going to do the last side too. Since I've done here, I'll also do this point too. I'm going to put it down. This way. Right? And that is what we have. Now if you look at this clearly, discover that this point, this point, right? And the next point will be we're having is moving in this direction. Or so you can start from the at the highest point here. I'm coming. Now I'll move this from the midpoint here, the top center point here. We have this. The next one is this, followed by this, followed by this. And the next one from here will be this, followed by this, and followed by this. So if I use my French curve. This manner, if I use my French curve, 
I'm going to be having I'll connect this point this way first of all take this three points this way first of all right now come here too I'll take from here too this way first of all then I can easily just connect this together with this This is what we have here, and this is what we have here. Right, so the next one will be look at this point here where the circle is intersecting here. I can easily bring it out this way. So, where it meets here. That will be another point that I'm going to connect this way. So it will be this, this, and this. So I can take this this way. So this is what we have here. Is that again? So this is the curve of intersection here between the cylinder and the cone, right? This is the front elevation, like I said earlier. This is the end view and this is the plan. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.